Hi friends, welcome to the Ask Tutorial. Today we are gonna see about the stress and the strain curve. First we need to know what is stress. Stress is the force applied to the cross-sectional unit of a material. Okay, so to the material a force or a load is applied that is called as stress. Okay. Stress is expressed as a force by area. The unit is Pascal Newton per meter square. Strain. Strain is the percentage change in the length of the structure or a material because of a action of a stress. When a stress is acting, the material changes its length. Okay. The strain is expressed in percentage using the formula that is final length minus the initial length divided by initial length. L2 is the final length, L1 is the initial length. Okay. Now we are going to see the various type of stress acting on a tissue and what are the deformities that is caused by the stress. So now we are going to see the first one. So this is a material. Uh, in this material if two forces are acting in a same line but in different direction. Okay. In different towards this one force towards the opposite other force but they are acting in a same line so if two forces are acting on an object in a same line but in different direction it creates as a tensile strain in the object okay and this is the tensile stress tensile stress creating the tensile strain if two forces are acting in a same line but towards each other okay towards each other then it creates as a compressive strain and this stress is called as compressive stress so two force acting in same line towards each other in tensile strain they are opposite to each other in compressive strain they are towards each other okay this is the third one in this is the object uh, two forces are acting parallel to each other okay parallel to each other in opposite direction okay parallel to each other in opposite direction uh, this is known as the shear stress and they in the object they create the shear loading loading or the strain okay so st uh, shear stress creating a shear loading in this the stress is acting perpendicular to the long axis of the material then uh, it creates a torsional loading so the stress is called as the torsional stress okay perpendicular to the long axis of the material creates the torsional loading how the stress acts on a curved object okay uh, like such as in femur okay a longitudinal stress is acting suppose a longitudinal stress is acting uh, longitudinal stress is acting on a curved object then, uh, then it creates a compressive on the concave on the concave side it creates a compressive strain okay and on the convex on the convex side it creates a tensile strain okay so on a curved object uh, it creates a if, if a stress is acting it creates a compressive strain on the concave side and on the convex side it creates a tensile strain the stress and strain curve we can get the properties of the tissue it reflects the properties of the tissue that is we can compare the strength properties of the tissue in different circumstances that is when a force or a load is acting upon it we can know how the tissue reacts to it reacts to the load so we need to know what is young's module in the stress and strain curve okay young's module is the change in stress by the change in strain within the elastic limit so, okay this is the diagram of the stress and strain curve this is the toe region 
in the toe region a small amount of force will be applied okay and the stress will be rela uh, relatively very low and the strain will be one or two percentage only so in toe region the strain developed will be one or two percentage only elastic region the fibers of the tissue they are being stretched and they are uh, resisting the applied force okay in this region the they can after being stretched they regain the original position okay uh, the linear region reflects the properties of the type of collagen the fibril size and the cross linking uh, collagen molecules okay what are they the type of collagen the fibril size and the cross linking type of collagen plastic region in plastic region the collagen fiber starts to fail the failure begins after the fibers are being stretched they cannot regain the original position okay the example can include the grade 1 and grade 2 um, ligament sprains okay so this is known as the micro failure region so if the stress keeps on acting beyond the plastic region then the fibers will like uh, experience more stress and they are, there occurs a failure overt failure or macro failure okay in this the, they start to rupture okay that this is termed as ultimate stress and the ultimate strain if the failure of the ligament or the tendon occurs at a middle of the structure then it is called as a rupture okay if the failure occurs at a bony attachment then it is known as the uh, avulsion if it occurs at a bone exactly at a bone it is called as a fracture so what is rupture occurs at the middle of the structure avulsion at a bony attachment fracture the failure occurs at the bone okay we have finished it thank you for watching the video and do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon.